previously on James Bond. Have you met my wife? Anime is one of the first sex robots. Perhaps we could discuss this farther over some shit. That was 20 times longer than my longest time ever with Klaus. Step out of the car, Klaus. You'll never take me alive, Bond. Piece of shit. Aren't you concerned about a potential rise in carbon levels? I don't give a shit. James Bond. To what do I owe the privilege of seeing the fabled 007 in the office today? Well, officially I'm here to see Amp, but unofficially I'm here to see you, Money Penny. Not sure your new girlfriend would appreciate these flirtatious one-liners, James. Well, first of all, she's not my girlfriend. She's an animo sex robot. And secondly, she's dead. Turns out taking her to the beach wasn't the best idea, as not only did the salty air cause her to rush in places that you do not want an anime sex robot rusting in, but also the water short-circuited her electronics as soon as she entered the ocean to swim. Lush electrified the water, killing close to 50 people in a 200 meter radius. One might say it was quite shocking. <laughs> Anyway, I barely had time to finish my pina colada before they closed the beach for the cleanup operation. Absolutely ridiculous. I paid 12 pounds for that thing. I should be allowed to drink it in my own damn time. Okay, well, uh, M will see you now. Excellent. But yes, my, my point is that if you do want to have sex with me, there's no reason that my deceased anime sex robot should stop you from doing that. Yeah, you'd uh, think so, would you? Welcome back, 007. 007? Uh, um, did you by any chance get... Everything all right, Bond? Uh, never mind. Uh, double D, I mean, double O seven, reporting for duty. I trust you enjoyed your time in the Bahamas? I appreciate a good holiday as much as the next chap am, but now I'm ready to get back to doing what I really love, spying on people for money. Bond, the nature of this next mission is beyond top secret. The classification is second only to the Ministry's UFO program. We have a UFO program? Her uh, Forget I said that. You'll be going undercover and joining the entourage of one Jeffrey Epstein, a New York billionaire. It's a well-known fact among intelligence circles that Epstein has been running an international sex trafficking operation out of the Virgin Islands. Sex trafficking in the Virgin Islands? Dutch more irony than a steak with a side of spinach. I suppose you'll be wanting me to go and stop the sex trafficking back. Well, actually, no. No? You see, Epstein has links to both Israeli and US intelligence. Having met with the CIA director himself several times at a New York apartment that was gifted to Epstein by Victoria's Secret CEO Les Wexner. Looks like Victoria's not the only one with some secrets, AM? Anyway, it appears Epstein is trafficking underage women to powerful people in an effort to gain compromising material on them. Material that can then later be used by the intel agencies to blackmail them. We're aware that this could be considered a subversion of Western democracy by the intelligence agencies but the US and the Israelis are currently regarded as our staunchest allies, so we cannot afford to be fallout from interfering in one of their intelligence operations, regardless of how morally dubious. Well, if I'm not supposed to stop Epstein, why are you sending me in? We need you to destroy video footage of Prince Andrew that Epstein is in possession of. Just because we won't stop the blackmail operation does not mean that we'll allow one of our own to be the victim of it. How, uh, noble. You are to board Epstein's private jet tomorrow morning. You'll be posed as Mr. Ray Shism, a Nigerian art critic. Epstein will then take you to his private island to appraise some paintings in his art collection. Once there, you must find and destroy the footage of the prince. But Epstein is not to be harmed, 007, do you understand? Do not let your emotions get in the way. You're going to have to start paying me more, eh? Money? What happened to Queen and Country Bond? Sometimes what's good for the Queen ain't so good for the country. Is there any more information that you can give me on Epstein? Any potential weaknesses that I can take advantage of? Nothing comes to mind. Although, the Inter report did mention one thing that caught my eye. Oh yeah? Watch that. He's got an egg-shaped dick. Jeffrey Epstein He's the man, the man with the egg-shaped dick that egg-shaped dick Such an egg-shaped dick 
He's the man who's best friends with Bill Clinton. He loves children. Yeah, he traffics women to politicians on the island. He's a spy for Israel. Number seven. I've equipped you with Q Branch's latest technological innovation. It's a composite of flexible, fibrous material that is structured in a way that allows it to withstand extreme elasticity, friction, and torsion. It should prove useful with overcoming obstacles and detaining enemies. It's called a rope. Your ingenuity never ceases to amaze me, you. Welcome aboard the Lolita Express, Mr. The name's Shizum. Ray Shizum. Ah, yes. You're the art critic I've heard so much about. You come highly recommended, Mr. Shizum. But it's said on your file that you were Nigerian? Indeed. Born and bred in Lagos, Nigeria. Let's go Super Eagles. But you're white. Did you just eschew my skin color, Jeffrey? Well, I mean, it's not really assuming, is it? I can literally see your skin. Uh, well... I'm one of the white Nigerians. With a Scottish accent. Um, it's actually an Eastern Nigerian dialect. And you have an Eastern Nigerian dialect, despite the fact that Lagos, where you say you grew up, is in Western Nigeria. Well, uh, I, uh, so where are we, where are we flying off to today? We'll be flying to my private island, Little St. James. I have some art pieces there that I need evaluation on. Little St. James, eh? Ironic, considering I'm neither a little nor a saint. But I thought you said your name was Ray. Oh, yes. I was uh, thinking of my other name. Your other name? By uh, Gamertag. Your Gamertag. Yes. So your name is Ray, but your Gamertag is James. Yes. And you're a white man from Nigeria with an Eastern Nigerian accent that sounds suspiciously like a Scottish accent, despite the fact that you grew up in Western Nigeria and not Eastern Nigeria. Yes. Well, all right then. Have a board. Phew. Him really needs to fire whoever is coming up with these alibis. What was that? Uh, no, man. You'll be flying in good company today, Ray. Meet my two favorite Bills, Bill Gates and Bill Clinton. He means besides the Bills in his bank account. Ha, ha, ha. Nice to meet you, Ray. So, uh, tell me, Mr. Gates, as one of the most influential public health officials on planet Earth, what area of medicine are you qualified in? Uh, none. None whatsoever. Pam, I've made it aboard Epstein's jet. I haven't seen this many pedos in one place since the last Genshin Impact fan club meeting. It can't be that bad, Barney Tennis. I'm serious, Em. There are more pedos here than in a Reddit comment section. And let me tell you, that is really shining something. I'll update you further once I get to the island. Bond out. Ray, did I just hear you call yourself Bond? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, excuse me. I was, uh, thinking of my Discord handle. Your Discord handle? Yes. And your Discord handle is Bond, despite the fact that your gamer tag is James and your name is Ray Schism. Uh, yes. And who the hell were you even talking to? I was, uh, talking to myself. I have schizophrenia. So tell me, Ray, will you be joining us at the party on Jeffrey's Island later tonight? A party? It's a masquerade ball. The masquerade mask is to bolstery, but that's the only piece of clothing that you'll be needing if you catch my drift. Is your drift saying that there's going to be a giant masked orgy on the island later tonight? Yes. Then yes, I catch it. Catch what? Your drift. My drift? Never mind. We've gone too many layers deep. Welcome to the island, everyone. Gets more beautiful every time I see it. Ray, this is my girlfriend, Ghislaine. How do you do? Pleasure. She'll be showing you the art that needs appraising. I'm afraid I can't accompany you as I need to help Stephen Hawking into his cybernetic bodysuit before tonight's party. These are the two paintings Jeffrey would like you to evaluate, Mr. Schism. Let's see here. Well, these paintings uh, appear to be made of paint, and I can't say for certain, but I would assume that this one has been painted with a paintbrush. 
Um, I'd estimate the value somewhere between one and one billion dollars. Excellent. Now, before we return to the others, I would just like to ask if I could perhaps bang you. Bang me? You see, you are in the unique position of being Jeffrey's girlfriend. And if I were to bang you, then that would provide me with ample ammunition to one-up Jeffrey at a later point tonight. Um, sure. Why not? Five minutes later. Now that that's over with, is it Gislaine or Gislaine? Gislaine. So tell me, Gislaine, where does your boyfriend keep the celebrity s*** tapes? Uh, I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me, Maxwell. Your father was an Israeli spy. And now, due to what I only assume to be some deep-seated father issues, so is your boyfriend. You two are running a blackmail operation, and I'm here to put a stop to... Uh, well, actually, I'm not here to put a stop to it, but uh, I, w I am here to galate one of the files. So... So what, then? If I don't tell you, you'll just... Beat me up, is that it? Yes. Oh, please. You wouldn't hit a woman. You clearly don't know who you're dealing with. All right, all right. He keeps the video files on a computer hard drive in the basement, but you'll need the password to gain access. Which is? I don't know the password, but I do know that it's tattooed on Jeffrey's ass. You expect me to believe that you, his girlfriend, has never seen his backside? Well, you see, whenever Jeffrey and I bang, I always insist upon the lights being out. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I, I can't blame you there. I shall now use some of Q's rope material to tie you up and gag you so that you will not be able to interfere with my mission. Joke's on you. I'm into that shit. Okay. With Maxwell taken care of, the next step is to get that password from Epstein's rear end. The masquerade orgy is probably beginning now. That should provide me with the perfect opportunity. But wait! Epstein will be wearing a mask. How will I know how to identify him from all of the other people with ash tattoos? Think, Bond. Think. Eureka! I'll just look for the guy with the egg-shaped dick. Five minutes later. Am I've successfully gotten the password to Epstein's computer. The things that I had to witness to get it have scarred me deeply and will likely have me in therapy for the rest of my life. Congratulations, Bond. You've just experienced the same level of trauma as scrolling through DeviantArt for five minutes. Man. Naked masquerade or be sure do work up an appetite. The secret is to do cocaine beforehand. Telephone call for you, sir. All right, but this better be important. I was just about to edge Chris Tucker. Hello? Why don't you have your cell phone with you? Oh, Benji, it's you. Sorry, I was in the middle of a naked masquerade or and my birthday suit doesn't exactly have pockets, so... Well, you might want to put some f pants on because there's an MI6 secret agent on the island. There is? Intel says they've got a double O agent, James Bond, on your island right now and that he's using the fake name Racism. Oh my god. Uh, okay, uh, I, I, I'm on it, Benji. All right, call me when you get this taken care of. B Benji, wait. What, what is it? You're not mad at me, are you? Ay, ay, ay. Benji? Oh man, sounds like he's mad. Everyone, there's a spy on the island. Sound the alarm and alert security. Tell them to look out for a schizophrenic Nigerian man. Now time to input the password. Property of Lej Wexner. Okay, I'm in. Now I just need to go through the video files one by one to find the Prince Andrew one. Several hours later. Darshowicz, Clinton, Campbell, P. Diddy. Ah, there it is, Prince Andrew. And delete. Now, if only I could delete it from my memory. I must say, I'm impressed you were able to successfully infiltrate my island, Ray. Epstein. Or should I say, James? Why are you referring to me by my gamer tag? What? No, what? I'm calling you by your real name. I know you're a secret agent, though. You didn't think Mossad would be so sloppy as to not have a mole or two in MI6, did you, Bond? Mole or not, you're too late, Jeffrey. I've already accomplished my mission, and what's more, I banged your girlfriend. Joke's on you. I'm into that shit. You people are so f***ing weird. Well, if what we do here upsets you so much, then why don't you do something about it, James? Huh? Oh, wait. You can't, because we own you and your entire f***ing government. You think Prince Andrew is the only one? Don't be so f***ing naive, Bond, it doesn't suit you. You ain't even scratched the surface, my friend. This goes deeper than you or me. Yeah, almost as deep as I was in your girlfriend. You know, you keep acting like banging my girlfriend was just like crazy impressive thing, but I, I do it all the time. 
So... M might be stopping me from taking you out now, but mark my words, Jeffrey, your time will come. And when it does, I'll be the one to pull the trigger. Nice prophecy. He is mine. You won't be making it off this island. Yeah, right. Even Moshad wouldn't green like the killing of an MI6 agent. That's true, Bond. I can't kill you. But he can. Resistance is futile. Damn it! How did Eckstein know my one weakness? Cybernetically enhanced Stephen Hawking. It looks like the technology used on Hawking's suit is designed to allow him to participate in the org. It must be the same s robot tech that Penny May was made of. That means I need to get him to the beach. Okay, Hawking. I'll agree to fight you. But on one condition. What's that? Last one to the beach is gay. A nice try, Bond. But we're too smart to fall for your dumb tricks. Isn't that right, Steve? Uh, Steve? Oh no, my cybernetic s suit is malfunctioning and I will be electrocuted to death. Oh well, at least I proved that I am not gay. Alright, you win this round, Bond. But hear this. The forces of evil will never defeat my sex trafficking empire. Good always defeats evil, and that's why I will never go to jail. I can't believe it. I'm finally in jail. But why should I be the one to take the fall when there were so many of us involved? Hardly seems fair. I guess... I'm the real victim here. Hello, Jeffrey. Bond? I told you this day would come. I'm afraid the powers that be have become a tad concerned about the possibility that you may name some inconvenient names at your upcoming trial to save your own skin. I can't believe MI6 would go to these lengths to protect Prince Andrew. The man was a nonce. He may be a nonce, but he's our nonce. Now if only I had something to kill you with. Bond, use the rope! The one you gave me three years ago? Yes! Good idea, Q. Send my regards to Lucifer, Jeffrey. What are you gonna do? I am going to strangle you. Joke's on you, bud. I'm into that shit. Am, I've just finished off Epstein. In more ways than one, I'm afraid. The only problem is that I had to destroy both security cameras outside of his prison cell. It could arouse suspicion. Don't worry about it, Bond. We'll just have the papers report that both cameras coincidentally malfunctioned minutes before Epstein's death. But Em, you don't expect the public to actually believe that, do you? James, you should know by now that the public will believe pretty much whatever we tell them.